At this point, I'm assuming that you've already watched the Advanced Permissions screencast, where we turn on Advanced Permissions and I show you how that works at a page level. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what you can do inside of the page with Advanced Permissions. I'm going to put this page in Edit Mode, and if I click on the Permissions tab, you can see I've already turned Advanced Permissions on. I've got all these more options in a grid. And again, check out that other screencast for how this works. If I come down to a block area, I can click it and set permissions. And you can see I get the same add group or user interface, which will add a new row to this grid. And I can control for every user or group whether they can read anything in the area, see, see the content that's in there, whether they can make changes at all, and whether they can delete stuff. I can also limit what they can add. So I might make an editor group that can read, write, and delete stuff, but they could only add content and a form. I don't want them adding videos over there, navigations. Uh, conversely, I might go to the main content area and just limit people down to the content block in the survey and not let them add anything else. Uh, you can really lock down block areas and parts of your site so your client doesn't put things that you shouldn't belong in block areas this way. The other thing Advanced Permissions lets you do is control the permissions on a specific instance of a block. So we'll click on this navigation here, and you can actually set permissions on this. And again, you can add any groups or individual users to this grid. And you can control whether they can see the block at all, if they have edit permissions to the page as a whole, can they edit this block, that's the right one, or if they can uh, delete this block. Uh, you can even use this to create uh, blocks that work for different user roles. You might start creating um, you know, gold users and silver users and use the e-commerce add-on to let people buy their way into a user group. And then you could create content blocks that had different read permissions for those gold and, and silver user groups and uh, use those as different ways to feature content for those different sides. So as you can see with this and kind of the page level permissions, you really have an incredible amount of control right down to specific blocks on the page with Concrete 5.